You're the only one who knows this game better, George. You know it's not that simple. Perhaps you're right, Ben, but I will try at least. Silly decision, given it's not all about brute forcing a win. Why are you attacking me, Bill? Why not? Weren't you just attacking George? Not right now, I'm not. I'm attacking you. Why? Because I want to. I already foresee something terrible happening if this continues. Yeah, both me and Bill are going to pincer you on both sides. I cannot allow you to continue this attack, Ben. I can't! If you can, then do it. Show don't tell, buddy. I'm not your buddy, but yeah, I will show you. Perhaps you should keep your villagers away from me. Donnie or I will kill them. Ha <laughs> ha! Getting advice from the guy destroying your buildings. That's got a sting, Donnie. Hillary, please, shut the fuck up. I do not need your input. It doesn't look like you have anything left to defend against me, Donnie. Perhaps I will eliminate you from the game after all. Uh, nope, you're wrong. I will definitely defend against this attack. With what army? Obviously the one that's storming up on your ass as we speak. Eat shit, you nerd! Well, that didn't go as planned. Of course it didn't. Now get the hell out of here, Bill. You aren't safe yet, Obama. Yeah, no shit, I can see that. This is your trump card, this pathetic garbage? It's all I need, Ben, it's all I need. Not really, since I have an entirely new army already prepared to beat you down even more. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? Fuck. Fuck. Again, I hope you eliminate him, Ben. Cease the chatter, Hillary. Gosh, it's like beating a child. It's so easy. Ben's a child beater, confirmed? Wow, real funny. You have all your units just bunched up there in the middle. Yeah, I dare you to come, Ben. I dare you. Of course, siege engines in this game aren't like those from AoE3. They aren't crazy strong or anything. It's time for a little payback, Bill. So now you're attacking me. Yep, I'm gonna raise you to the ground or die trying. Looks like you're going to die trying then. You think so, huh? Yeah, it doesn't matter if you brought those table shooters, as Joe calls them. I'll still defeat you. If that's the case, why does it look like you have no units at all to prevent this attack? Are you going to rely on your outposts and base defense to take me out? Oh, I wouldn't say I'm defenseless, Obama. Thanks for giving away what you were doing, Obama. I'll gladly strip your base of its buildings. Oh my God, Joe, you're such a fucking coward. I'm not so defenseless that you could think it would be so easy, did you? With that defense, it doesn't matter. I completely outnumber you. Even those table shooters of yours won't help you. Oh, for crying out loud, this is such bullshit. I told you, Obama. I told you. Now I'm free to attack you just like one would if they were playing a Yu-Gi-Oh match. I'm going to attack your life points directly. Cut down on the childish shit, Joe. Relax, Donnie. Let the care patient enjoy his time at the playground. Or Obama's playground. Am I right, guys? Ha 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 ha. Shut the fuck up, Bill. You're not funny. You were never funny, and you sound like you're about to fall over from suffocating any minute. What the hell? Where were you hiding all those units? That's correct. Good observation. Also, what did you say? Attack my life points directly or some delusional shit. Ha ha, yeah, fucking right. So what's the deal? You kept your units in the back. Why? Wasn't it you who mentioned home field advantage before? Now you're the one who's going to get stuck between my buildings, Joe. Do you think it'll work in your favor as it did for me? And why wouldn't it? You're not special. I never claimed I was. I believe I can gain an advantage over you in the same way. You have a lot more to worry about than I do. I think I'll take my chances. Yeah. That's exactly the problem. Then you'll need to try even harder to prevent me from kicking your ass, Obama. Nice try, but if I surrender, it won't be because you won, Joe. It's because you're using someone else to win. And that's not winning. If you want it to mean anything, then come at me alone. I already am attacking you alone. What the fuck do you think I've been doing this whole time, Obama? Yeah, that's true, but we both know what's coming. And we both fucking know you're gonna use that chance to double team me. Uh, I see what you're talking about now, huh? <laughs> yeah, you guessed right, Obama. And I guess Joe's banking on that fact, right? No comment. See, I fucking knew it. What if I decided not to attack then? Doesn't matter either way. I've pretty much secured my victory. Holy shit, you're so confident that you'll win. Seriously, Donnie, do you think catapults are going to do anything? I'm not sure why they aren't. Because siege engines are meant for destroying buildings, not units. Aside from maybe a small few that do. The large ones are generally used for taking out walls and buildings. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I'm crushing you with literal boulders. Realistically, that should do something? It's not like it does nothing, but you could do more damage faster and more effectively with the right units. Which you don't have, since I easily overpowered your catapults by just walking towards you. My god, I can't stand this game's mechanics right now! Skill issue, Donnie. Enough talking! I'm trying to focus. Wow, I'm surprised you still have any resources to spare on units, Donnie. Yeah, I'm not out of this race just yet, pal. I got a few more tricks up my sleeve. You're a dying horse, Donnie. How long before you run out of breath, huh? Let's see how long you can endure. I'm not going down, Ben. I'm not. Finally, Bill took your time. You're lucky I have an issue with Obama. Otherwise, I would have just done nothing to spite you, Joe. So instead of Bill teaming up with Hillary, he teams up with Joe instead? The fuck kind of logic is that? Because there is no logic, George. Fuck you both. I'm not teaming up with Joe. I'll attack him if he gets near me. It's as simple as that. You are both attacking me at the same time as far as I care. You are teaming up. Think what you want, Obama. 
I can't be splitting my attention like this. You should never reveal you have no cards to play, Obama. What difference does that make? That may be true since you're getting double teamed, but still, you never want to reveal that you can't do anything. Uh, I'm not sure that's true since I'm pretty sure you didn't follow this advice yourself. Well, against you guys, I don't need to. I can get away with a few things. Wow, fucking astounding. You're so amazing. Ha <laughs> ha. That reaction is priceless, Obama. I'm not going to play the game of attacking you inside that crowded space. I'm going to just destroy everything I can. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Did Bill just capture the second sacred site? Yeah, he did. He's purple, right? This son of a bitch, you lied. You said you weren't planning on capturing both sacred sites, yet here you are with both. Uh, I mentioned that ages ago. Also, while I did say I wasn't planning on it, I never explicitly said I would never do it. You should be more worried about yourself, Donnie. You're joking. Surely the one with a literal timer is more important. No, you're right, but we still have nine minutes. It's fine. It's not fine. I'm going to get you out of my base and then deal with that site. No, Donnie, you aren't. You aren't going to do anything. No need to worry, Donnie. I'll deal with the sacred site. You just keep getting destroyed by Ben over there. Oh, yeah. Taunt me in the background while your ass has been silent so far. Why isn't anyone attacking George? Uh... Yeah, I just shat out an idea, and I'm sure it'll stick eventually. Oh my god, George, what is with that scale of units? Do you even need to ask? Why do you have so many table shooters? I got a little carried away with making them never use them, and they sort of accumulated over time. That's an understatement. However, having said that, based on what I'm seeing, I'm pretty confident you aren't going to win this skirmish. Yeah, I'm seeing my units get clogged on those buildings. My god, that is annoying. Uh-huh, it is what it is, but it's a lifesaver. It can work against you as well, you know. Sure, but right now, it's in my favor because this is my domain. Ha! Domain, right, whatever you say. Oh my god, oh my god! Why are my units attacking that stupid mining platform? That's such a noob thing to do, George? I swear I've been commanding them to attack anything that's hostile. Are you using the attack order? Yes! You must have misclicked. Don't go blaming the game because of your own mishaps. I wasn't going to blame the game, Ben. Doesn't look like that massive army helped you this time, George. Maybe you should have taken Ben's earlier advice in Donnie's match against Joe. Don't you dare say any more than that, Bill. Calm down, I won't. Yeah, fair enough. You got lucky this time, Bill. However, don't think I won't forget this attack. You aren't hiding your intentions at all, Bill. But so be it. It's to be expected, honestly. In the meantime, I've pretty much prevented Bill's win by sacred sight, so we are safe for now. The hell? Yeah, funny thing. Although I wanted to deal some damage to you, Bill. Ultimately, it was merely a distraction so I could take away the sacred sight from you. You little ninja. Hey, man, you might have won the battle, but you lost the war. The game isn't ending anytime soon. Man, honestly, if I had won through the use of sacred sights, that would be pretty embarrassing for all of you, especially Ben. Yeah, so why don't you stop trying? I don't expect to win through the use of sacred sights. It's too much of a hassle to defend, and even a toddler could see that. I don't know about that. You could throw up a wall and put a few forts around it. It could be doable. And why would you even suggest that, Donnie, when you're the one who has such a problem with it? Look, I'm just saying, the only way I see effectively defending a point of interest, especially one that can win you the game, a wall, some fortresses, and other defensive structures are your best bet. Of course, a wall is the first thing you bring up in this case, Donnie. Bitch, no shot. Ben, please tell me that I'm right here. Um, yeah, you are. Really? Joe, be realistic here. There's no way you're defending a sacred site from anyone without an obstruction, so yeah, Donnie's right. You need a wall, and it must be concrete. Uh, you would be a complete moron to defend one using wood. It's high time you got the fuck out of here, Joe. Okay, okay. You managed to stop me for the moment, but it's not over, Obama. Like hell it isn't. Nah, not by a long shot. I'm impressed you were able to defend against both of us, Obama. Though, to be fair, I stopped because of George's attack. Yeah, I got saved by luck, basically. Is this your second attempt at attacking me, George? Yeah, way to state the obvious, Bill. I'm just trying to make sure, since I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw you with this small army. You don't actually believe that's going to do anything to me, right? It's not really meant to, Bill. Oh, okay, scheming something I see. I'm not sure if I'll allow that. Sorry, George, but are you sure you have the time to be attacking Bill right now? What? Why now all of a sudden, Ben? Of course, you think I wouldn't? You were attacking Donnie forever, and now you're attacking me out of nowhere all of a sudden? Oh, Donnie actually cashed out and managed to secure himself. Needless to say, he actually stopped my advance, so instead I turned my attention to you. If you couldn't stop him, you won't stop me. No, I wasn't really trying to get rid of Donnie, but I know you're half decent at the game. I'm not going to play around with you, I'm afraid. You wouldn't. Oh, but I would, George, and I will. Oh my god, this can't be happening. Ha! Huh? This is total karma for earlier. Not now, Donnie. No, it's true. Everyone else was getting attacked. Meanwhile, you were relaxing and peacefully building yourself up. Not so peaceful anymore, though, right? What the fuck? You're here too, Donnie. Yeah, of course. I'm going to get in on this action and destroy some of your buildings. Do you even have the resources for this attack? Of course, but besides, I'm not the only one here, am I? 
I'll attack you if you get in the way, Donnie. Just know that. Yeah, I'm not stupid. Besides, I don't really care what happens to these units. That's the dumbest thing I have ever heard. What? In some cases, losing a single unit can cost you the entire game. Wait, what the fuck, Bill? You're here too. I told you I wouldn't let you get away with attacking me, George. Since you're helpless right now, I thought, why not? I'll join in on the fun. You're all pieces of garbage. Now you're experiencing what I had to go through, George, which Bill was also a part of. It's over, George. You don't have any units to stop this attack. Not that you could, even if you did since you're being triple teamed. I don't need you to remind me, Ben. You're taking this better than I would have expected. Sure, because I'm trying to secure my chance at rebuilding rather than defending. Good choice. You can't defend anymore, so you're trying to keep villagers alive. Oh, so you're going to try and stop me? No, I have no idea where you threw your villagers. Probably in some dark corner, however, it doesn't matter. Your resource production has been crippled. I don't really need to worry about you as much as I do the others. Fair enough. As long as you understand. Well, I was going to destroy the rest of his buildings in the meantime. Jesus Christ, you brought so many siege engines, so many resources you dumped on those. It would be a shame if someone came in and destroyed them all. <laughs> what the fuck? Where were you hiding those table shooters? In the back, obviously. Very clever, George. Making sure you kept some units in the back so you can have a defense up in case anyone attacks. It was a simple last-minute decision. I don't know. It sounds like a last resort that wouldn't really make any difference. There she goes again, talking at the worst moments. Any advantage is an advantage nonetheless, Hillary. Yeah, but given how weakened you are from being destroyed by Ben, Donald, and Bill, if anyone attacks, you'll be fine for a few seconds at best, then it'll be a one-sided slaughter. Like, I get that having fewer units or more units or any amount of units to assist you is an advantage. But losing units while having no unit production or production in general is also a problem. Yeah, true, right, which is astounding in of itself, but I'll fix my problems before it comes to that. Dude, George, I literally just took care of over half your units just now. All you have left are those table shooters. You weren't even in a great position before. You're even worse off now. I'll still fix it. My oh my, you're confident. This is absurd, Joe. You just don't quit, do you? Of course not. I made a promise and I'm going to keep it. You're going down. Not only that, but you said to come at you alone. Well, here I am destroying you by myself. Hardly. I'm not attacking you at the moment, so it's more like I'm letting you destroy me. What the fuck did you just say, Obama? Are you both still fighting a war over there? Yeah, no shit. Was our constant chattering not clear enough for you? Jesus Christ, the battle between George and Bill, which passed over to George and Ben. Me and then Bill already came and went. How the fuck are you two still fighting? I'm not really the one fighting. It's Obama that's fighting. I'm just the one destroying him. That's it. I have had enough of your bullshit. What are you going to do about it exactly? I will attack you with everything I got. What the hell? Where the fuck were you hiding all these units? You want a war. Well, you'll have it. Whoa, holy shit, you made Obama snap, Joe. What is it with this game? Well, what's the problem, Joe? Can't win? I have been attacking you countlessly. Why the fuck can't I do anything? Why does it feel like I haven't done any actual damage to you? It might appear that way, Joe, but trust me, you have. It doesn't feel like it, though. Obama still managed to stop me somehow, despite all I have done so far. To some degree, that makes sense. It takes a little more to ensure people surrender, but only if they're stubborn. Any normal person in a ranked match, or even in a casual match, would have surrendered in Obama's position. What? Because fighting a feudal battle is a waste of time. If you're going to lose, just lose. Don't prolong that loss by fighting back. Sounds like cowardice. You're playing a game, not real life, bud. Joe's overthinking it. He's pretty much destroying Obama right now. Yo, stop ghosting, Hillary. Yeah, none of us can see what's happening over there. Whoops. You stupid dumbass. Yeah, perhaps I can take care of this. Great, even more I have to deal with. That's all well and good, but sadly, you're all going to lose now. What the fuck? Ben's built a wonder. What the hell is a wonder? A wonder is a victory condition similar to sacred sites. Only instead of being in a fixed position, it can be built anywhere by a player that has the resources to make one. Oh, you cannot be fucking serious. Yeah, but what is it? It's basically just a massive structure. It has a lot of HP, but cannot attack. Most likely built in a fortified location. Sorry, but we cannot allow this to progress. We all need to stop what we're doing and bum rush Ben. I knew you were going to say that. Do you think I wouldn't? Do you think I'm going to stop attacking Obama all of a sudden because of what Ben's doing? Maybe not now, but soon, because if that timer hits zero, then it is an automatic defeat. So it is like the sacred sites. God damn it. I already know what's going to happen. Bring it on. I'll take you all. You don't seriously think you can deal with a five on one, Ben? I know you have some knowledge of the game, but even for you, this is ridiculously arrogant. Not at all. Do you think I would have made a wonder knowing full well that everyone might have decided to attack me only and not have a way to deal with it? Listen to this guy. 
He makes it sound like he planned all this out. Over here playing 5D chess or something. What a load of bullshit. You'll be surprised that no matter how much you guys attack me, I will and shall prevent everything you do. I literally just got attacked by both Bill and Joe and got destroyed even if Bill backed out early. I could barely stop the attack. No, Obama, I withdrew because of what Trump said. That's just because you just suck, Obama. If you're being attacked by multiple targets, your only defensive action should have been walls, so stop whining. What about me? You fuckers all jumped me in a triple team. The fuck did I just say? Yes, but it was a surprise attack. Then perhaps you shouldn't have run your units all over the place. You might have dealt with me enough and dealt with Donnie's small army, leaving only Bill, who may or may not have decided to attack. And Donnie's problem is this overwhelming need to attack people when he has nothing. Why the hell are you taking shots at me all of a sudden? Isn't it obvious? Because you're attacking me right now, despite me having already done quite a bit of damage to you. I've recovered a bit since then, I can handle it. Plus, we cannot allow that wonder to exist. I suppose you have no real choice anyway. Yeah, no shit. Is this your attempt at tickling me, George? Also looks like you're losing momentum there, Donnie. You should perhaps, I don't know, rethink your approach, maybe? Okay, but does anyone know exactly where the wonder is? Well, I certainly won't reveal where it is. Wow, who would have guessed that? Dude, George, we have just barely gotten the news. We don't know anything just yet. All right, chill. I was just asking a simple question. No need to get aggressive. How aggressive did you think that was? Sheesh. Don't worry, guys. Joe is here to save the day. Wow, amazing. Look, I'm annoyed I wasn't able to deal with Obama enough, and now I have to come over here to Ben and deal with him. You sound confident there, Joe. But you aren't going to deal with me at all, because I'm going to sweep you away and dust myself off from your ashes. Jesus Christ, Ben, you're fucking serious about winning this, aren't you? I don't know, guys. I think you should probably take this a bit more seriously. Ben could win, you know. Hey, Hillary, I have an amazing idea. Tell me where the wonder is so I can destroy it. What? Just tell me. Hey, hey, don't you fucking dare go shit, Hillary. Calm down, I wasn't going to. Donnie over here just thinks I'll be an accomplice to his unique gift of being a cheater. I don't cheat, I only win. I always win and I'm definitely not about to let Ben win this, no way! Christ, Donnie, do you have any shame at all? Oh please, like, oh my God, Joe. Like you have any right to tell me about shame when you childishly overreact every single time you're given ice cream? Fuck, I swear, you could probably be kidnapped by the ice cream delivery guy in his white mystical van easier than a child would. Honestly, honest to God. Focus, guys. We have less than 10 minutes to find that wonder and destroy it, or it doesn't matter how much we farm up. This game will be over. Dude, what the fuck? What? What do you mean, what? Your geriatric ass is attacking me from behind when you should be focusing on Ben's wonder. I already have units attacking inside his base. Then why are you here? Not true, Joe. I've pretty much already taken care of your units. What? Jesus fucking Christ. Please pay attention. Let's see if I can't locate where his wonder is. Oh, finally came prepared with an actual proper army, George. I thought you were just going to send your scraps again after you were toppled just a few minutes earlier. Yeah, say whatever you want, however. Weren't you the one who said we shouldn't go big army? Yes, I did, and I still agree not to do that. But I got a wonder on the field. All things considered, as much as I and Donnie banter, he's right. You should definitely push because being idle will only lead to all of your defeats. You should know this, George. Yeah, yeah. Dude, Obama, you cannot be serious right now. What's your problem? Why are you here? Obviously because of the wonder. Bro. Holy shit, what the hell is all this, Bill? What does it look like? Jesus Christ, that's a lot of cannons. Also, Obama, adding on to what George was saying, why are you even here? You were almost eliminated by Joe. Yet here you are, as if none of that happened. Do you think you can afford to be sending out your units like this? Again, it's because of Ben's wonder. No, I get that, but let us handle it. Seriously, this is your chance to recover from your battle. Lick your wounds, so to speak. Instead, you're here, throwing your resources away. Make it make sense, please. Yeah, we don't need everyone here. I'd rather not have all of us skirmish inside of Ben's area instead of finding that fucking wonder. It's distracting. Worry about yourself, Donnie. You haven't even managed to pass the tree line since the start of this. Yeah, because Joe won't stop sending his stupid units over to me. I have to fucking attack them because he's just sending them on auto, which causes them to auto attack me. Dude's literally brain dead, I swear. Yet you just lost- Just stop, Hillary, just stop. You're an annoying bug that only chooses to buzz in my ear when it suits you. I'm not even trying to annoy you. You're just doing that yourself, honestly. Obama, what were you even hoping to achieve with those useless units anyway? You had barely anything at all. I really don't want to explain myself. You don't want to explain or you can't explain? Who cares? Obama's just trash. You guys need to focus on that wonder. How has no one found it yet? Well, certainly not you, since I've been preventing you from crossing. Like I said, it's all Joe's fault. My God, okay. Bill, I honestly have to say the same thing to you as you did, Obama. What is this shit show you have here? You literally brought nothing but cannons here. Yeah, which is good for taking care of large buildings with large HP pools, no? Yes, you're right, but are you stupid? You have nothing defending them. Like, bro, what did you think was going to happen? Well, I killed your elephants, didn't I? Wow, yippee. 
You killed literally a few units, which cost not even nearly as much as three or four of the cannons I just destroyed. Whatever, I'm sitting on a mountain of resources. Holy shit. Why is it that when I come down this stupid road, Ben, you're waiting for me with more of these stupid elephants every time? It's called mounting a defense, Donnie, which is something you, Obama, and George obviously don't know how to do. Bullshit. You told us to build walls. I also told you to manage your army and not to send them out like morons. Besides, I'm not going to build a fucking wall when I have no breathing room. Joe! What's happening? This loser keeps attacking me from behind when I'm trying to deal with Ben's stupid defense. Dude, it's the fastest way to Ben. You're in my way. I had no choice. You dumbass, you are literally throwing the entire game! Forgive me, Donnie. Honestly, I'm running multiple experiments to validate the results of whether I should give a fuck. Damn, dude. Holy shit. That's the third degree right there. You just got fucked by Joe not only once but twice now, Donnie. Yikes. All of you need to shut up! Joe, you better give a fuck because you're screwing our chances of finding Ben's wonder, which is the whole point of what we're doing, which you're ruining! You understand that? This game has gotten intense, and still none of you have even come close to stopping me. I think I made the right play, since you all can't cope with working together. God, what a world that would be if we all set aside our differences and actually helped each other. Yeah, but our biggest problem would be you, Donnie, since you clearly don't want to do that. That's not true. Yes, I think you're all clowns, but if you actually thought differently, and saw my side, I do think we could come to an agreement. If we're talking professionally, then I agree with Donnie. Seriously, Ben? What? I'm not above a reasonable approach. What Donnie says usually is not entirely wrong. If he were such an unlikable person, North Korea's tyrant wouldn't have been so tame. Not to mention, he technically was the first president to step foot into North Korea. Actually, the whole thing with Kim and stepping into North Korea wasn't all what it was cracked up to be? Well, for a normal person, sure. But as the president of America, I'd say otherwise. Well, yeah, especially when everyone knows that North Korea is like a prison. How did we even get onto the topic of North Korea right now? We're talking about Donnie's ability to act professionally when it matters, regardless of whether he dislikes a person. How is that in any way what we're talking about, Ben? It's obvious that what you meant was that Donnie can't get along with others, when the latter proves he can. Kim is a far more unlikable character. I mean, Joe may be the dumbest president to ever exist, but he isn't a dictator. So Donnie can sure as shit get along with Joe, isn't that right? All right, of course, if it really came down to it. I can tolerate his presence quite easily. I do it all the time. Wow, yet another nice thing you can say, Donnie. But the moment you fall asleep while I'm talking to you, I'm definitely drawing dumbass shit all over your face. And now you're being ridiculous. Hey, I'm just saying. Yes, that's great. Hugs and kisses all around. Let's end the peaceful negotiations. We need to deal with Ben's wonder as soon as possible. I know we were getting off topic there, but how has no one found that fucking wonder yet? This is ridiculous. Nice job killing my units, Donnie. I thought we were done with this, weren't we? Yeah, but you deserve this one, Joe. You did it to me like three times. All right, fine. But you better make this all mean something. I'd say the same to you, but peace or whatever. Nicely done, Donnie. You finally managed to get past the tree line. I was just getting rid of George's units. I'll greet you in just a moment. God, you're being obnoxious right now. My God, I'm going to be stuck making units. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to make it back. What are you doing, Donnie? I'm not wasting my time fighting. I need to find that wonder right now. Yeah, you don't have much time. But to go right through my units like that, reckless move, you should have just attacked me because now I've reduced your numbers and regained the advantage despite how weakened my units are from all the constant fighting. Guys, oh my God. George. What? What does the wonder look like exactly? Uh, oh, uh, well... It's sometimes hard to tell, but it's, uh, it's much bigger than other buildings, and when you do find it, you will know that you found it. Fuck! Then it has to be all the way in the back, then. Well, where did you think it would be, Donnie? We haven't seen it in the front or midsections. The only place it could possibly be is in the back. Yeah, yeah, I've literally just said that. No need to restate the obvious. It was obvious from the get-go. Again, don't need your input, Hillary. Am I the only one attacking right now? Yes, yes you are, Joe. The rest have been dealt with. Where the hell is everyone? Get your asses over ben, here. Ben, what the fuck are you doing here instead of defending? I'm chilling. What do you mean? You're joking. No, dead serious. Y'all are dead ass easy that I ain't even trying. What the hell is going on? I leave for a few moments and everything has gone to shit. Oh, please, Bill. You have contributed nothing so far except for those cannons you had earlier, which you didn't even defend. I mean, fair enough, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Joe, you're there. Do you see anything, anything at all? Nope, I'm currently trying not to lose units that I spent running a marathon just to get here. You're here too, Donnie. Why don't you try? We're gonna lose at this rate. Sounds like you've given up, George. Also, by the way, like, where the fuck are you? Why aren't you helping? Dude, I'm trying. I'm queuing up units right now, but it's taking forever. I don't really expect anything from Obama since his ass got destroyed earlier. Uh, so did I. Can you blame them? Both Obama and George got attacked pretty hard. Hate to be the bearer of bad news. But you all have a minute to deal with Ben's wonder or it's game over. That's not enough time. Surely we can... Literally a fool's errand, Donnie. You need to know when you've lost. But, but this is bullshit. 
How did we allow Ben to win with a fucking wonder? Seriously. Trust me, I'm still trying to piece that shit out. I love how you have all basically given up at this point, even if you're still trying to attack me. However, having said that, I told you I would win, but none of you believed I would. If I had known that what you meant by winning earlier was basically just getting a free win with a wonder win condition, I might have tried a little more to prevent your resource production. Winning through the use of anything other than elimination and calling it a victory is pure cope. The only one coping here is you, Donnie. In war, it doesn't matter how you get the win, as long as you win. So you would justify murder then? Blood of the innocents for the sake of victory. When did I say that? It's implied by your general statement, obviously. Look, it doesn't matter how Ben won. What matters is that he said he would, and he did, despite all of us unleashing our armies on his front door. He still managed to defend his area. That's sure a hell of a lot better than the shit Donnie did in his match against Joe, who lost right away as soon as the siege began. Oh my god, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but yeah. Ain't that just the truth? Well, damn, I wasn't sure if you were ever going to accept that loss in this one, but here I am. I stand corrected. That's correct, because at the end of the day, I am not going to be petty about this, but hey, at least Joe didn't win this time. It was slightly impressive that you all decided to work together to stop me. Only slightly, though, since you guys didn't do a very good job of it. Obviously, because this is free for all, we're meant to be enemies. When our units collide, they pretty much auto-attack anything that's hostile. I see. So that's why I kept attacking you when I wasn't even trying to. Bro, if you didn't want to, then you should have stopped using the attack order. What are you talking about? It's a mechanic that causes units to attack something that would otherwise attempt to harm them, or is a hostile unit. The whole point of it is so you don't have to do any manual targeting yourself. If you send units all the way across the map, and someone happens to appear in front of you that's either a wolf or your enemy, then the units will attack automatically without input. I see, yeah, the tutorial was pretty keen on me using it, my bad. It's great in skirmishes, though, since the units target the nearest thing to them rather than all of them ganging up on a single target. Helps a lot at keeping units from dying needlessly without ever having any chance of doing something. You know, guys, trying to team up and take down, Ben was a nice plan and all, but I could tell from the moment I lost a bunch of units without doing anything that between me and Obama, if we had won against Ben and actually managed to destroy that wonder, both of us would have been in a shitty position. We would? Yeah, of course. The picture sort of paints itself. We both got teamed on, lost a huge chunk of our resources, indicated by our total stats during gameplay. Once Ben's wonder was out of the field, we would have almost nothing, like a bird with its wings clipped. Huh, yeah, I guess I could see that happening. I could barely stop Joe when I had resources. I probably wouldn't be able to do shit without- I have to ask, but is teaming up and taking down an enemy's wonder something that's actually viable in real matches? Depends, and normally, and this is just my opinion, but I don't think it's actually wise to consider going for Wonder Wind condition if multiple teams are still in play because it's highly likely that you do get ganked hard into the dirt unnecessarily. So basically when it comes down to a 1v1... Yeah, I mean, don't take my word for it. Do whatever you want, but in a regular match, you're just begging for a one versus all scenario since everyone will want to stop you as soon as possible. Sounds about right. Interesting. We were all pretty much equal at around the 14-minute mark except for me and George. Wow, George. You were going pretty strong until that absolute massive drop at around the 35-minute mark. My fall from grace was awful, but nothing is worse than Hillary's complete elimination right at the beginning of the game. Yeah, I spent this entire match spectating you losers. Who are you calling a loser right now when you're the one who lost within the first five minutes? That's fucking sad. I mean, look at that graph. You barely existed at all in this game, which I'm glad for because I don't think I could handle you next to me, Hillary. Actually, you should be glad, Donnie. The mongrels are a pretty good sieve unless things have changed. But I'm pretty sure things would have turned out differently if Hillary was still in the game. That's the bad timeline. We currently reside within the right timeline, and so we were spared that possibility. You really are a fucking piece of work, aren't you, Donnie? Well, I'm certainly not going to hold back, especially against you, Hillary. I think I dislike you as much as I do, Joe. All right, let's chill for now, Donnie. Sometimes you should just suppress your need to insult someone every single time. Fine, fine. You're always on my case about this shit, despite being just as bad as me. Okay, maybe, but compared to you, not nearly as much. So what are we doing next? Are we going to play another match, or is this it for now? We'll call it here for now. These games are long, and playing another right now will take a lot out of me. Man, tell me you're old without telling me you're old. Last I checked, everyone here is old. Except Ben. You think I care about that? Well, we all know who the oldest is. Very funny, Donnie. I didn't say it was you, did I? You didn't have to. I know you were because I am the oldest one here. I didn't say it, you did. Okay, but 
Is there any plans for what our next game is going to be? Um, yeah, there is. It's going to be Monopoly Move to Canada Edition on Tabletop Simulator. What is Tabletop Simulator? My God, do I have to explain everything to you? It's a game that allows you to simulate playing all kinds of different board games, ranging from custom ones to official ones and whatever else people conjure up. Well, I bet it beats Ubisoft's version of Monopoly. That shit just crashes like every time. Yeah, we already tried to play a game on there. Literally crashed 20 minutes in and lost all our progress. It was fucking retarded. Never again. All all right, well, I got things to do. Take care, guys. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It was fun playing with you, gentlemen, but I have something important coming up, so I'll take off. Probably an upcoming debate he needs to nerd out on again. You waited until he left to say that? Seriously? He wouldn't have cared, Obama. You know that. Well, uh, I just bought the game. We gonna join up now, or are we gonna do something first? You know what? Yeah, I think we should do something. Yo, Joe, invite us over to the White House for some snacks and chill. Isn't it called Netflix and chill? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. All right, I'll come get you guys and we'll hang out, I guess. Oh, almost forgot. I need to run, so I'm taking off. It was fun playing with you guys. Are you sure, Bill? We are literally going to the White House. When's the last time you were even there? Oh, uh, I don't think it's been that long, but I'm quite all right. You guys enjoy yourself. Wow, his loss. Well, we'll be waiting, Joe.